Hello there. Well, I'm going to make a short video. Uh, it's early April and it's a lovely day and uh, I'm just going to go for a very short walk which is very close by to where I live. Now I know the bluebells are not out yet because we've got uh, some nice patches of bluebells in the garden. Um, but this is a painting that uh, I've just recently done of bluebells. Uh, it's based on a painting that I did some years ago uh, and I was asked to do another one. Well, what I've tried to do on this uh, short video is just identify as many of the, the plants that are coming through. Uh, so let's go off and have a look at the woods and look at the flowers and plants in the woods. Well, we're now in the woodland and we're uh, just by the banks of a little stream that runs through the wood. Everything looks really nice in here. Now there's a, a very common plant, it's a lesser celandine and when the sun shines the uh, yellow petals open and it really does make a lovely display. It's uh, one of the earliest flowers really uh, of the spring. You can see that there's very few leaves on the trees as yet um, and this gives uh, lots of light down onto the, uh, the woodland floor and because this is why you get so many little wildflowers um, opening up at this time of the year before the canopy closes over. Now these celandine, I noticed some of them with really big petals. Now here's a wood anemone, they're just starting and uh, uh, one or two of the places there's quite a few on the banks here of the stream because they're all woodland indicator species of ancient woodland. This is an ancient woodland uh, it has been modified and planted up with conifer um, but there are too many sycamore here unfortunately but uh, this is a dog violet which is a pretty little flower very good nectar source for, for butterflies and here's a, a wild strawberry plant just hiding there you can see it's quite a lot of sycamore now Here's a little gathering of, uh, you've got everything there, celandine, violets and uh, wooden enemies. This is dog's mercury. It doesn't make a very uh, a big flower, but uh, it, it's an interesting plant. Now here's some wood spurge, another ancient woodland indicator. And there we have the, the common dandelion. And of course, this is the season for the dandelions. You will see lots and lots by the side of the row, but they're a lovely, lovely flower. Take them for granted, of course. And there's, um, I think that's a sulfur tuft. Um, I'm not an expert on the fungi, but uh, it is a fungi you see most of the year. Now here's an interesting plant, uh, I call it Lords and Ladies, but it's also Cuckoo Point, it's got many local names, uh, and it used to make starch years ago um, for um, ironing collars and things. Now there's the only bluebell we saw on our little walk, um, but it just shows that they'll be there in a week or so. Now this is a very delicate little flower, the wood sorrel, another ancient woodland indicator. Now my reason for um, criticising uh, sycamore in woodlands is that uh, the very big leaves do blanket the uh, ground flora in ancient woodlands. Right, here's a, a foxglove, or it certainly will grow into a, a lovely flower later on in the year. Now butcher's broom, uh, which believe it or not is related to uh, uh, the lily family, it's a very prickly uh, plant. Here's a, a common polypody fern. And of course we've got uh, the, uh, the goat willow with the uh, little catkins on there, which is always a lovely sign of the spring. Then finally we've got the, the blackthorn, which uh, is uh, starting to uh, 
cover our hedges with a lovely sort of white flower. It's an incredibly prickly plant, so it was really used in hedgerows um, because it's a very good hedgerow plant. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, walk in the woods. Um, now you can see I'm on my way home now and uh, I've got a bit of a limp because I'm waiting for a new hip. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please uh, click a like and maybe subscribe. Goodbye.